So let me start this video by telling you that last week I placed two of my students into the biotech industry with a weird combination. Watch that. So they wanted a research job, but nobody was giving them because they were freshers. So we trained them on something which is not core biotech and then we placed them in a biotech startup. So today's video is all about um, some unique combination, some nice ideas which will help you get placed into the biotech industry as a fresher. And to remind you, if you are looking for a quick placement into the biotech industry, you can always apply for the quick scholarship link in the description. Let's start the video by telling you about uh, the first thing. If you are a fresher, which biotech company you know? Now, most of you will say, sir, I know Biocon, I know Sinjin, right? All of you know this biggest company. So all of you will apply in the biggest company. But don't you think that all the two and a half lakh people who passed out this year in from bachelors and masters in life sciences will also apply there? Then your chances of selection is 0.00001%, correct? And that is the mistake all of you do. You all should know that mega companies don't hire freshers, but they hire from other companies. Right. Somebody who has experience will get selected and that's what is happening to you. And then they ask you for references, then they ask you for all such things and then you get frustrated and then you come to me or comment below my video saying that oh, nobody is giving us a job, then how will we gain experience as a fresher? So here is the trick. Now, for example, anything actually is a trick, you know, if you want to break into the biotech industry, it's a trick. Okay. Now, so what I did with these two students, I'll tell you. So uh, we trained them on digital marketing. Okay, so these are hardcore microbiologists. One was a microbiologist and one was a biochemist. So we trained them on digital marketing and then we sent them to a biotech company. And uh, during the interview, I told them to say this, that, uh, sir, I also have knowledge of uh, digital marketing. I have worked under Shekhar, sir. So if you if you hire me, I can help you there also. Now you should know this is that small startups. Uh, like there are 300 startups in Bangalore by Innovation Center, 300 startups are there in Seacamp. So all these startups don't have separate departments. There are hardly two people, five people, 10 people company, right? Maximum is 30 people company. So if they have 100 people company, then okay, they can have departments. But if it is 20 people company, they cannot have departments. But they all need digital marketing. They need the digital presence. So when I said that, okay, you're applying for a microbiologist position, but in your free time, you can do this also. The company was like, oh, he, in one salary, he can do two jobs and the company hired him fast. That's what happened with him. But anyways, let's come to the topic uh, for today. So you have to apply for internships and, uh, you know, collaborative projects under uh, various biotech startups. Or you can always, uh, you know, apply for internships at Biotechnica. Gain hands-on experience. Uh, do a lot of networking within your circle and the place where you're working as an intern and gain the practical skills. For example, uh, you uh, join Biotechnica's uh, mRNA uh, vaccine technology and CRISPR internship, which is starting from 26th of October. So you do the 15 days theory and then you go to the lab. Now, when you go to the lab, Dr. Dipti Saini will be there. You network with her, right? Reach out to her and ask if in her network, somebody she can place something like that. So internships and collaborative projects you can take. The second thing which I had uh, long back shared with all of you is volunteer as a service. Now, uh, you can volunteer to a scientist, you can volunteer to a researcher, you can volunteer to some uh, professor under whose guidance you want to work. So demonstrate your commitment, expand your network and do hands-on learning. Okay, work under him, don't charge anything or say that, okay, don't pay me, but I'll just learn, right? Now this will, this we generally call as it, it as a vast, volunteer as a service, okay? So we when you do a VST, uh, people will hire you readily. After some time, you, once you have gained the experience, you can apply elsewhere or you can ask the same PI or same scientist that see now that I have experience, at least something you can pay me and you can negotiate. So that's the second point. Now the third is research assistant positions, project assistant positions. You know, we have a uh, uh, deal with one of the government uh, organizations here in Bangalore. So we are placing 50 students every six months there. Freshers, right? So, but they are getting the project assistant and research assistant position, 40,000 rupees salary. But later on, they are if they're good, they're getting absorbed into the organization directly, right? So you will get a chance to work with experienced scientists, you will gain experience. 
and you'll be able to expand your skill set. So a guy who has never touched a spectrophotometer is now ha handling spectrophotometry. A guy who has never prepared buffer is now, uh, you know, learning uh, how to, you know, operate uh, uh, HPLC. So these are the things which you will get to learn. And of course, networking opportunity with all these scientists. And, you know, scientists are always eager to look for somebody who can assist them. Okay. Because everybody has got 24 hours. They want to do more in less time. And that is where assistance comes into position. Research assistant is a great position where I can place you or you can always try. The next one which I have seen helps you a lot is online courses and certifications. So like Biotechnica has around 75 plus uh, online courses and certification on various topics. You can choose based on your passion, based on your skill. So, you know, many of the working mothers or, uh, you know, people who have break in their career or who are not able to get a job. So that gap you need to fill. If you don't fill, no, people will think that you worked somewhere and you absconded and now you are hiding it. So instead of doing that, you can do some online certifications, online internships. So develop your skill. Okay. And then you'll be able to stand out of the stand out to the employer. You will be able to tell that, see, uh, I was not sitting after my master's. I did all of these. And online has got a lot of flexibility. So you really don't need to move to a new city. Say you are in Kolhapur and you are taking a course from Bangalore. So you have to come to Bangalore, right? But if you take it online, you can do it right from home, right? So that's uh, the fourth point which I wanted to share. Next one, um, according to me, should be networking, like I always said. So, you know, networking has various uh, layers to it one of the first layer would be linkedin the second layer would be obviously reaching out to people uh, offline or online now you have to be very good with your communication soft skills and uh, uh, you know interview skills and you have to be willing to talk okay you have you should not be shy okay networking is all about not being shy certain industry conferences events find out mentors get some mentoring opportunities and you know you can ask those mentors to refer you for any job yeah i got a lot of clients in biotech industry through references from the bangalore uh, startup group right so yeah you can do that next will be um, you know research collaboration so there are academic collaborations happening which biotechnica keeps posting uh, you have um, industry collaborations where you can apply hands-on uh, learning you can do there are a lot of online internship like last week there was a illumina internship uh, then there was a x company a google company's internship of where you can apply so these are online internships uh, and they will pay you you know 40,000 rupees 50,000 rupees salary also as an intern so yeah that's a great so now to get there you need to have solid CV you need to tailor make your CV highlight the key skills any kind of experience whether it was uh, organizing a conference in your college or just getting sponsors for your uh, you know college day or whatever showcase relevant experience highlight it whatever you have and emphasize on the lab work which you have done, the biology work, the papers you have you would have published, and try to stand out. Okay, and don't look and sound overconfident during the interviews. You know, um, if you are getting an interview opportunity, you should know this that the companies are not looking for smart candidates; they are looking for manageable candidates because most of the things are SOPs. Unless it's a research scientist position, which obviously you cannot get, you will obviously get a lower position. So you have to stand out but not don't sound overconfident so that they you know think that you are uh, you know a overconfident person who will be uh, difficult to manage so let's not hire him that kind of mentality is also there next will be um, be persistent in applying and even though you are not getting replies analyze why you're not getting replies that's one thing second second will be be adaptable um, to change adaptable to uh, you know location like if you are in delhi and you want a job in delhi only then your market size is small you know as a biotech student you have your uh, you know you have to be a global citizen wherever you're getting opportunity you'll have to move okay settle down once you have got a decent job with a eight figure salary okay then you can settle down in whichever city you want but Keep applying, be open to various roles, okay, not like, okay, project assistant, I can't, cannot apply because it's a lower position. Some way you have to get started, okay. So start from A, reach Z, that's very important. And specialize over a period of time while you're not getting the job, keep, you know, uh, learning something new, specialize, build a T-shaped personality wherein you have a broad knowledge of a lot of things and a deep knowledge of your own core subject. So these are the points which I wanted to share with you today. And hopefully they should answer your question, which is if biotech companies are not going to give jobs, and how would I gain experience? So as a fresher, you have to know this, that your college degree is just the foundation. You have to build a building on the top of it. You have to build a Taj Mahal on the top of it. And if you want to do that, then you have to 
do all the pointers which I mentioned. And of course, if you have any new pointers which you might have experienced, put them down in the comment section. And thank you so much for watching this video. See you soon in the next one. Till then, keep shining. Bye-bye.